What's up guys? Welcome to another bow tie review. Today we're going to review Hummingbird and we're going to show you a video of what Bird Brain Technologies, the company behind Hummingbird, is right now. Located in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Bird Brain Technologies is an education company devoted to cultivating creativity by providing flexible and inspiring products that engage students and teachers in programming and robotics. Our products, including the Hummingbird Robotics Kit and the Finch Robot, make that possible. We serve as a catalyst for a transformative, maker-based learning experience for all students. Here at BirdBrain, we are dedicated to our mission. The Bird Brain difference is how we put that into action. Starting in 2005 at Carnegie Mellon University, ongoing research and design is what keeps our company moving. We believe in true interdisciplinary learning, integrating robots and CS into all subjects, from English and math to music and art. The Hummingbird and Finch bring something new and fresh to the learning experience. What I liked about this project was that you could be creative and just let your imagination flow because there are endless possibilities to what you can create with a hummingbird. We learned how to code and give the motors different commands. You could have cardboard, you could have pipe cleaners, you could have puff balls, you could have googly eyes, you could have foam sheets. Our products are low floor, high ceiling. From kindergarten through college, hundreds of thousands of students worldwide are growing their creative, technical and problem-solving skills. And they're tinkering, they're trying things, they're figuring out what works and what doesn't work, uh, problem-solving, you know, they, they think they're playing, but they they're really are learning. We believe in breaking the stereotypes surrounding robotics. Our products were created to promote gender equality and diversity in engineering and robotics. We do our very best to ensure that all students have access to our products. Aside from our kits and products being available online, we also offer our Finch Loan program. Since 2013, we have offered completely free loans of Finch robots to schools and libraries across the United States. Thus far, over 500 schools and organizations have borrowed Finches. And we estimate that well over 90,000 students have programmed a Finch due to the loan program. Let us be the catalyst for a transformative, maker-based learning experience for your students. Explore our website to learn more. So what Hummingbird does, Hummingbird is actually a kit that's built up on Arduino that you can connect servos, you can connect motors, you can connect sensors to, to then connect to some type of arts and crafts to build your own robot. Um, and so it's a robotics kit. What's good about it is it's loads of fun. The kids really enjoy the creativity side of this and being able to build a robot in almost kind of any way that you want with like cardboard. And really you can create arts and crafts out of anything, or arts and art and robots out of anything. You can create them out of like reusable recyclables, cardboard, cups. It allows for a lot of creativity and content to kind of come into this part. And one of the ways that I see this being used too is that in a classroom, you could actually use this as a way to teach historical characters or you could teach literary characters. Kids could actually make those through cardboard and make the robot and program it to do something. You can also program it to talk. So there's a lot you can really do with this robot. I think as far as the coding and the programming side of it, I, I really like their Create Lab software. So basically when you look at a Hummingbird, you can do it through a Chromebook, but you're really gonna be in Scratch and Snap and because it does support that, and we'll talk about that in a second. But if you do it through a PC or a Mac, what you can do is you can download a software called Create Lab. And the way that Create Lab works, when you first look at a Hummingbird, you think that software is gonna be really hard? It's not. Basically the way Create Lab works is that you create what amounts to a block for block coding. So you basically, if you want to turn the lights on, you create a block that turns the blocks on, then you save that expression, and then when you get into the side of where you want the robot to like do stuff, you go and you just pull that expression in when you want. Like if you want the arm to move up, you connect it to a servo, you save how you want it to move, 
and then you go and you move that expression in. And then what really throws kids a little bit sometimes is that you also want to turn, have like an expression that turns the light off because it's just doing that one thing. Now as far as it being a very open platform, really Hummingbird and BirdBrain try to make all their stuff really open. It's open to Scratch and Snap support. I think really when you look at Scratch, you're gonna have to create a few of the commands in there. Snap kind of comes with some, but um, it's not gonna be as wide and as easy to teach as Create Lab. But if you have kids that are already in Scratch, it's a great way to actually do that. I think the one thing that's really to keep in mind with it is it does take, hummingbird robots do take a little bit of initial support. Really you need to teach the kids how to use the platform. You need to teach the kids how to kind of um, really get going on that. And so kind of my overall take here with this is I love hummingbird robotics. I think the company is great. I think the product is great. Hummingbird robots are actually there's so much creativity that you can do with them. We've used them with camps a couple of times and kids, once you teach the kids how to actually, the kind of basics of it, the kids just take off. And I think any product that has such a high ceiling and lets kids kind of just take off with something and be so creative is awesome. And then the other part of that is they are just awesome people to work with. Like I've known the Hummingbird team for quite a while um, and every time I need some support, they are there, they're on it, like, and they're still really small. I think, to me, if you're gonna do a makerspace, Hummingbird and being able to teach kids that is almost a, one of, would be one of my top priorities because I can do so much with it. And once I get that board, I can reuse that board and build so many different robots just by using different recycled materials.